Okay, so today we're actually on my uh, Linux server, which is where we run our Minecraft world from. And I'm going to have a little look around and show you what, what we've done here. Um, I'm going to post links to the script we used to boot the server and um, hopefully this should explain some things, maybe help you get your own server set up. So what we're using here is uh, just the latest Ubuntu desktop release and uh, all you've got to do is download the um, craft bucket server file from dl.bucket.org downloads craft bucket and then we've just taken the latest beta build because we wanted to use the 1.4.2 mods and all the new features so we're on beta release point two um, and then I've gone straight to world edit and that is on bucket the address is just at the top there and I believe this is updated 5.4.5 for 1.4.2 release point two so we download that that's a jar file and here is an image which I'm going to use later so first you uh, create a folder I've just called minecraft bucket and then inside the folder, all of this is a this is our world. Inside the folder, you will place the jar file, and just rename it Craft Bucket. Okay. And then you're going to need to write a script. Now I'm going to copy or download this and make it available. I'm just going to have a look at it. So I'm trying to do everything from uh, GUI as much as I can just to show that you can do this without actually you know knowing a lot so it's very simple uh, here we have a simple script which is simply calling up the craft bucket dot jar which we've just put in this folder and then setting the memory amount for the server this has, server has four gigabytes of ram so two is fine so that's that and I, like i say i'll post that file up in the uh, in the uh, description for download and obviously this file if you just write it in a text file copy it in and save it as craftbucket.sh okay one more thing under properties you're going to want to allow it to execute as a program now there are tutorials and all sorts of stuff like that if you have trouble with you know, trouble with particular things just type in Ubuntu and then whatever your problem is now when you actually run this for the first time it'll generate everything else so let's just have a look at what we got under server properties you've got all of your different options for the server and you can look up all the different variables on uh, the Minecraft wiki I've got it set up for large biomes, here's our seed, and then down we go. The, uh, and then there I've changed the description, so that's what comes up when you type in our address. Public true, you can change the uh, whitelist to on if you only want certain people in there. I've used a default game mode of two, so anybody that comes in is in adventure mode. So very quite restricted in what they can do so I'll just try not to leave any flint and steels in any unprotected chests and you should be fine so yeah that's the server properties like full information for that is on the wiki now if we look these are our worlds I'm using multiverse which allows us to switch between worlds that's another plugin but if we go into the plugins folder all I've got is world edit and the multiverse plugins Inside craft scripts, which comes with world edit, you'll see all of these. Now these actually need to go into, need to copy them into world edit for them to work. You also need to create a folder called drawings and create a folder called schematics. That way you can save your copy paste data from world edit as a schematic file, which you can use with MC edit. Uh, drawings, like I say, I've just downloaded steve.jpg mm, it's a jpeg I don't know if it's gonna work in experience um, only seem to have actually got it to work with uh, 
GIFs, pings, the colours seem to go wrong, JPEGs seem to crash out, but this is a very small, oh, whoops, wrong way, this is a very small picture, so I'm just going through to drawings, I'm just going to copy that picture I've downloaded of Steve, in here, okay, now I know that this one, this one, this one, this one, and they, none of them worked. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test it with that Steve, because it's a very small image. I'm going to try and build that with World Edit in, in the next video. So, now we've got everything set up. There we go. Beautiful. All we have to do is open up our terminal and we're going to type cd space craft bucket and that enters the actual directory for our server you type ls and you can have a look it's the equivalent of the windows dir command and then what you're going to do is you're just going to type dot slash craft bucket dot sh and that will run the script okay and off goes the server. Okay. Loaded. Eight seconds. So, now that's running, we can minimise that. And it's running as you can see. It does actually tell you. But it's using just the standard port, which is 25565. Okay? We're going to need that in a second. So we can minimise this. If you need to use a terminal, open a new one or open a new tab. I tend to use a tab. I mean, I, I've run two servers, a snapshot and a, and a craft bucket at the same time. I've got, I even had, a, had tech it running as well at one point, but uh, you have to reduce the memory, obviously, in the script for, for the launch. Now, so there we go. Now then. The only thing that we haven't yet done is our login. Now, let me just see. One, two. There we go. Alright, now the only thing that you have to do next is you've got to go into your router and all routers are slightly different but you've got to open it up and there is the line just there MC25565 TCP and UDP 192.168 Dot two seven, which is the internal fixed address that my uh, you can look up tutorials for assigning a fixed IP to your Ubuntu server. It's really easy. You just do it in a text file, and it'll always be dot two seven. Okay, so that points my router's external IP address. Okay, you can find that by going to what is my IP dot com. That's the easiest way. And then you just simply take this, 192.22.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.
stop the server, start the server. What I like to do is every day I'll stop the server and I will copy the entire folder into another folder by date, just to back everything up, because you never know when something might go wrong. So, um, until the next video, this has been the end of my first Linux tutorial video, so uh, I hope it wasn't too bad, and leave your comments below. Cheers. Bye.